Oh. Yo, so been a couple of days, but it's just because life and social activities getting in the way. So today I am heading in to Simply Gym for a back session. Then I gotta do a quick whip around Aldi got to head off out but yeah it's gonna be fun um, going out with some food in Birmingham later which would be nice um, but yeah just today the plan is get in there get a good session done but quickly and um, not not try to worry too much person letting me out of my street there which is always nice but yeah how have you been how are you are you okay are you good training all right yeah good that's what we like to hear i'm doing okay personally uh i i'm waiting for the results of the mri so i'll probably get them tomorrow Aside from that, I've got a new bunch of stuff from Ikea, which I set up, which is really good. I had to clear out the living room. Uh, not today, but... Well, maybe today. I don't know. I doubt I'll have time. However, tomorrow, I will be dumping a bunch of things up the loft of my mum's house. And, yeah. Things have started to look a little bit nicer in place. Uh, obviously, I'm not planning on living there forever, but we'll, yeah, things are going okay at the moment. I'm just gonna try to see how life works out, so, so to say. Hopefully that Conte stuff arrives today. Got only a little bit of mega pump left and I'm out. But I should be fine. Yeah, things are okay. I went to see Cal Decapitation play last night, along with Signs of the Swarm, 200 Stab Wounds, and Vomit Forth. Some lovely band names there. Signs are incredible, again. Uh, I think the fact that they weren't following a band like Mental Cruelty, which is who supported them the last time I saw them, made them even better, which is, and it's not a slight on Signs at all, because Signs are incredible, but Mental Cruelty for me, it's just a different, a different game when they're playing or like when they're on stage, they are ridiculous. The guy's stage presence is just something which you cannot like copy. Like it is just pure genius the way that he creates a, well, a presence on that stage. However, Cat of Decapitation, bloody hell. What a band. And you can tell they have been playing for years because they were insane. They were so tight. The vocalist's range was just ridiculous. And to pull it all off live as well, like when it gets to really fast and sort of thrashy uh, death metal, there's always a chance that the vocals are going to be quite scrappy as well when they're done live. No, insane. Absolutely amazing. Uh, Bring Back the Plague sounded incredible. We Are Young sounded incredible. Everything sounded incredible. So yeah, last night was really good. Picked up a signed Signs of the Swarm uh, al album as well on vinyl, which was good. So that spinning this morning whilst I was doing my cardio and yeah. Was it cardio was this morning was done. Did 30 minutes on the bike whilst watching uh, Ant, Ant Man and uh, his video regarding the new Battlefront collection and how it's a really, really bad release. It looks terrible. And then I was watching what else did I start to watch? Oh, Carl Bosman as well. I watched his uh, newest video on Embracer Group. If any of you know anything that I'm talking about, then 
fair play. But yeah, the Cardinals one was done, that was good. Good sweat going on. I did now do some back work. So um, literally just about to park the car. Uh, so I will see you in there. Why are you going so slow? So I figured I would start it off with something that I haven't done for a long time, I say long time, it's a few weeks. Um, but that is lap pull downs with a wide grip, which was hard to judge on this machine because of where the um, the grip that I'm holding onto had slid on the one side, so it's actually coming off the end. So holding the end of the grip wouldn't have been the same spot in each place. So I had to try and um, figure out an equal grip position there but it wasn't as um what's the word it wasn't as fruitful as i would have liked it to have been um definitely did feel some discomfort on the right side from where i felt that my left was taking over um so yeah i'm not until until things are sorted out completely i'm not a huge fan of doing this um i think it's gonna be the same for most overhead movements i did three three different um sets with it but i just couldn't get to it and this here something that i haven't tried for a very long time which is a smith machine bent over row so essentially it's just a, a, a row with no other sort of momentum involved or anything which is great if your hamstrings don't catch on fire when you hold in that position mine started to hit but it wasn't like the biggest decision factor in just me stopping it i just didn't enjoy the movement um you can see here like I, i'm struggling to keep grip of the bar which i've got straps on you're thinking how am i keep struggling to keep grip because your wrist naturally wants to go to like a, a normal position but i just couldn't get it uh to stay there so yeah i don't think i'll be adding them back in again if i'm honest if i do it'll be pendley roads which is something that i did when i was doing powerlifting uh where you're like dead stop on the floor up back down dead stop that type of thing I enjoyed. Uh, and then this is something I mentioned the last time I did these rows. Uh, I think I did it over a new fit for my last session where I filmed it, where I said about grabbing the handle lower down just to make it harder, which is something that definitely did have an impact in how uh, this session or this movement went. So instead of grabbing at the top of the handle, which makes it a bit easier, grabbing at the bottom of the handle or towards the bottom of the handle definitely makes it a harder movement. And um, I'd normally, I mean, I started off with four plates aside and I dropped down to three on this last set just because I wanted to, you know, get the at least eight reps out. So it's definitely something I'm going to keep doing going forward because it's got a nice, like, progression curve to it. And I like that. Uh, there was then some, I did some seated one arm rows, but I couldn't film it because it was quite crowded around by then. I didn't want to get in people's way. But um, very similar to how I did the, seated one arm rows last time in UFIT with the on the actual seated row but this time I was doing it on a on a bench. I've seen a few people doing that and I wanted to try it out and see what all the fuss was about and I, I really liked it so they're staying in. Especially because I could get into like an underhanded grip which I can't do in this gym with the kit that they have. Um but there's no post video because my day got a little bit uh, all over the place. Did get the shop done, did get the food prep done which is good but uh, ended up staying home. But all that said, if you are resting, rest up for training train harder than me please i i really need you to um of all else just take your multi and lift heavy and i'll see you in the next one